well new bike day is always a very special time in any cyclist calendar and mainly because it doesn't happen very often well for me for reasons outside of my control i'm on my second new gravel bike in 18 months anyone not familiar with my channel can go back and look at my previous videos to find out why but today i'm out on my ribble gravel sl for its first ride Now I'm in my local park and I'm going to try a little bit of off-road. These are quite wide fire road type trails, not very technical, not too rough. So it should handle this really well. That seemed to handle that very easily. I've gone for slightly wider tyres on this than I had on my previous gravel bike. I think I had 38 mil tyres and these are 44, 45. Need to sort the tyre pressure out a bit. They're a bit firm, but uh, yeah, that felt very stable. This is bread and butter for a bike like this, so I wasn't expecting anything less, but no, it felt good. Now I want to try some single track. <laughs> onto its natural home, its natural habitat. A little bit of gravel. There's not gonna be too much of that on this ride. Absolutely laps it up. This is what the bike is built for. I do need to sort my handlebars out though. I adjusted them last night. I thought they were straight. They're clearly not. My early impressions are the bike was very stable, very planted. A little bit more so than my Aura Terra C. That felt a little bit more sketchy on off-road stuff. And I'm hoping this bike is going to be a little bit more off-road focused than the Aura. That was one of the reasons I went for the setup I've got. Early signs are good, but I've not ridden it for very long, so I don't want to be too certain in my judgments. Short stop, had something to eat. Kitchen was closed, so I do have a sausage roll. Not exactly healthy cycling food, but there you go. And I've sorted out my handlebars as well. The only other adjustment I think I need to make is the saddle. It just feels a little too low, but I've hit a road section. Let's see how the bike handles this. I go through. Can you get onto that footpath or get far? Oh, yeah, no, I can get onto that path, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's no worries. I've been so used to riding my mountain bike for the last few months. That feels really fast. Noticeably faster. And those large tyres, which I was concerned maybe you're going to be a bit of a drag, I feel all right. I'll probably have to go out and do a road ride with some mates on road bikes to really understand the difference. I don't feel like I'm getting really dragged back. Well, I've got some climbing ahead of me. Let's see how well this thing climbs. I'm hoping it's going to climb pretty well because it is really light. Do have a slight rubbing on my front bike. Nothing too serious, but uh, I'm sure that will settle down once I've ridden the bike in a bit. Oh, okay, not a very steep hill. I was in my lowest gear. Is that a concern? Don't know. Too early to say. I don't know if that's a reflection on the gearing or my level of fitness. I think the cassettes are 44 at the back. Going from memory there, I don't know for sure. But yeah, it climbs a lot faster than my mountain bike, that's for sure. Yeah, I was happy with that climbing. I've missed having a gravel bike. So this is the bike I've gone for. It's a Ribble Gravel SL Enthusiast. Now, this is where the big money's gone. It's got SRAM rivalry tap gearing. 
lovely electronic gearing. I've got that rubbish Oro bottle cage on here. It's the only one I had. It looks a bit crap and the bottle doesn't go in it properly either. It's a full carbon bike. It's got SRAM rival hydraulic brakes. Pedals, it doesn't come with pedals. I fitted my own ones I had in the shed. I think they're 540s, maybe 530s, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice looking bike, isn't it? And it's got a physics saddle. Too early to say whether I'm happy with the saddle or not. But so far it's been absolutely fine. Let's just enjoy how pretty this bike is. And I paid extra for the integrated handlebars. I just think it looks a lot, lot better. That was a little present to myself. But yeah, you can see their flared bars there. You can see them, the way they flare out. Setting the bike up wasn't brilliant. They sent me a link which suggested if you had a bike stand, put it on there, uh, which I do have a bike stand and I put it on. And when I took uh, my headset apart, my forks dropped out below me. So yeah, partly my fault, but really putting on a stand was probably the worst thing to do. Purely from an aesthetic point of view, I think the bike just looks really nice. I am about five foot 11, nearly. I'm sort of five foot 10 and a half. I went for a medium. I think on this one, I need to raise the saddle up slightly. Sizing seems to be fine at the moment. Feels quite small, but that's probably a good thing. But I've got plenty of room on my seat post, so I can raise it, no problem. I think it probably only needs to come up about half an inch. I've got to say, I'm very happy with the componentry on this bike. I really like the handlebars. These aero design, I wasn't sure what it was like holding on to them and riding, but it's absolutely fine. The brakes are very good. Not blow me away, brilliant, but uh, just very competent. But a real joy of this bike is the SRAM Rival ETAP gear set. Wow, that is so nice. It is just tap, tap the shifter and to make the change. There you go, I'm doing it there. You can't even hear it. It's really, really quiet. I know this is a brand new bike, so you'd expect nothing less, but uh, yeah, very promising indeed. If this is what my gear change is gonna be like for the coming months and years. There you have it, my first ride on my Ribble Gravel SL. So I've taken it on road, off-road, bit of single track. I'm now finishing it off with a bit of tarmac cycleway. Tried it on lots of different terrains, even though the ride's not been massive. So my early impressions are, well, it climbs very well. It's a very light bike. If I can find how much it weighs, I'll put it up on the screen. It performed well off-road. I think it's slightly less of a harsh ride than my Oro Terra C. Probably the wider tires. The SRAM rival ETAP gears are, wow. They are fantastic. Don't feel I've got the bike quite dialed in yet though. My seat's not quite the right height. My bottle cage situation is a bit of a mess. But my overall impression is one of satisfaction. I feel like I bought a good bike here. My enthusiasm is probably tempered slightly by my fitness state of myself at the moment. I'm not going over that again, but you know why I'm not where I really want to be. So even on a short ride like this, oh, Feels like I'm doing a workout, but this isn't a full review. I will do that in due course, but not till I've had the bike for several months at least. If you want to see more of the Ribble Gravel SL, subscribe to my channel because it's going to be featuring a lot of upcoming videos. But thank you for watching today, and I'll see you on the next one.